Hi, this is a demo of the Adult Summer Reading Club software. The New Jersey State Library procured this software for us at no cost to us. And this is our first year using it, so we're very excited. To get to this page, you put in your address bar hclibrary.readsquared.com. If it's your first time in the club, you will click on register. You want to register yourself. How old are you? Don't worry. Don't worry. Because we only need to know you're at least 19 years old. You can, you may be a little bit younger than that, and that's okay. But we don't need to know the upper age. Uh, what program do I want to sign up for? So here's where you'll say Adult Summer Reading Club because the, the way this software works, it incorporates our children's clubs and team clubs. So this is where you choose Adult. Continue. And you would fill out all these fields. Any with a red asterisk is a required field. Right here is where you'll put your goal for the summer, how many books you'd like to read. And what would you like your alias to be? If you've been in the club before, you know what this means. If you're new to the club, we use this for sometimes putting out information about you. For example, when you meet your goal, we may put that in an email. When If you win a weekly prize, we may put that in an email. We may put it on our library webpage. So some people use their real name and other people make up a name like bookworm or beach reader but it has to be something no one else has chosen and bookworm and beach reader have already been chosen by someone else so um if if whatever you put for your alias has been already chosen you will get an email from me asking you to change it so for username, um, I suggest you just use the same as your alias, and then you don't have to be confused about which was which. Set up a password and click continue. I'm not going to do that because I already have registered, so I'm going to go back to the regular page. And over on the right, I'm going to log in. And you can see that I have... Um, points. I don't have any points yet. For every book you read, you get 50 points. When you reach a thousand points, you you will be considered as finishing the club. But that doesn't mean you have to read 20 books. Basically, um, I'll show you later how that works. So anyway, let's say you finished a book. You want to log reading. You want to put in the book title, and it's pretty important that you spell it right and spell the author right as it is on the book. First name, space, last name. And then here it says add book review. Now book reviews have always been optional in the club. However, I would ask that you always click this because this is where you can assign a number of stars to the book. So I'm going to give this five stars. And if you want to write something about it, you can do so in this text box. But that part is optional. But I would like if you would at least um, assign a number of stars to the book. And then submit. And I've gotten my registration badge. And also read my first book. If you have, um, let's say you want to know what you've logged in so far, go to logging history and that shows I've logged in one book and that's what it was. Go back to home. So uh, let's see, just uh, some fun things. Let's go to missions. Now these are things, little activities you can complete to earn additional points other than 50 points for reading books. So 
I'm going, you can look through these missions, but right now I'm going to focus on the mission of reaching your goal. So it used to be in the club that the, um, libra the librarians would monitor when you met your goal, but in this club, you will be the one monitoring when you reach your goal. So when you have reached your goal, you will go to this mission and you'll click on complete now and you see that you will earn 900 points. So um, in almost all cases, that will mean you've reached your 1,000 points and uh, you will have finished the club. However, just because you've reached your 1,000 points, it doesn't mean that um, you should stop. Keep on going, earn more points, it's fun. Uh, let's see, so another fun thing is games. When you register for the club, you've unlocked the first game, which is Mahjong Solitaire. As you progress through the points, you will earn badges and you will unlock more games. And these will show up here. Uh, here's where you can see which badges you've earned already. And if you want to invite a friend, you can send a friend request. And if that friend accepts your request, you can each see each other's reading logs. Okay. Up here we have events. And you can see we already had one on June 10th. We had the Adult Winter Reading Club and the Adult Spring Reading Club get together. And we will probably have some of those for the Summer Reading Club. Also on the calendar, you will see our events for the teens and for the kids reading clubs. Unfortunately, they're all mixed on the calendar. So the way I will identify the adult club is uh, I will put ASRC for adult summer reading club. And you can keep an eye on that for more events. Okay, and the last thing that you can do for fun is to create an avatar. So if you click up here, you can create a different person, scroll through those. You can put an additional back uh, building in your background. There's a library, you can scroll through those. And this changes your background in general. So once you've chosen something, you can save your changes. And every time you log in, you'll see your avatar. OK, I also want to call your attention to the club's web page on the library website. So if you go to the library website homepage, hclibrary.us, that will get you to here. And once the club has gotten underway, you will see it in this list of most important things, but it may not always be on that list. So I'm going to show you the other way to get to it. Come down here under services and then go to readers services. Scroll down and there are a whole bunch of different things that you may be interested in exploring. But for now, we want to click on adult summer reading club. And this is our club's web page within the library website. What we have here is uh, books we've read. This book will grow as the summer goes on. We will show the most popular books we've read as a club. Right now it shows the 2019 blockbusters. Uh, a reading log, even though the, the club software keeps track of it. If you would like to keep a track of a, your reading on paper, you can print this out. Contact information, this actually goes to the North County Reference Desk, but it doesn't matter which library you use in Hunterdon County, this is the number to call. Over here we will announce weekly winners, weekly prize winners, and what will also be on this page eventually is the logic puzzle. You will get the original scenario with a grid and Every week on Fridays, we will put out a new clue. And by the end of August, all our clues will have been published. 
and you can send in your solution for a chance for another prize drawing. Okay, the other thing I wanted to mention, going back to Read Squared, if you would like to log your books or do your other things on a smartphone, there is an app called Read Squared. So go to your app store, look for Read Squared and install it. It should be free. And then you'd be able to use either your computer or your smartphone. So um, have fun. One thing I, I did want to also mention, if you click here on Info Help, it actually brings you to this exact page. And down here it says, if you have any questions, please email me. I expect questions and I welcome questions because this is new for all of us. And I'm sure there will be some confusing things as we go on. So please email me with any questions. Okay, so have fun and happy summer reading.